Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He completes it to Boyd. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21, forced out to his left. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the point to keep moving. Zach Taylor's made the decision. They'll go for two here. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Yeah, that was the old QB one-man band play there on the conversion. And look, let's face it, even quarterbacks who don't have great mobility, in certain situations, they're able to actually take the ball in themselves. Remember way back when Joe Namath against the Giants?